in Laravel, there are many ways to create your own custom validation rules and no one is correct or wrong. Each method of custom validation rule is used for a lot of different reasons or in different scenarios. So in a few upcoming videos, I will share a few ways to create your own custom validation rules. So before moving ahead, subscribe to our channel and press bell icon. So when I upload new videos, you get notified. Now let's start. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Harish Kumar. In this video, we are going to start with a very simple closure based rule. So for that, I have already prepared a Laravel application. Let's see this in the browser. Here is the dashboard for our Laravel application. And here I have already created a change password page. Here we have this simple form where we can change our current password. So now in the current password, if I pass any random password and this is our new password and then confirm new password. Now here it failed because the logged in user password did not match with the current password entered in this input field. Now let's pass the correct current password, new password and confirm new password. Now update. Now our password is updated. Now let's see this in the code how it is implemented. So in the route web.php here we have two routes change password and patch request for change password. In the password controller here is the index method to show this change password form. And in this update method we have implemented the logic to update user password. So what is happening in this method? First we validated the form request. The new password is required and its minimum length is 8 and it should be confirmed with the new password confirmation and that is required. Next uh, here we fetch the current logged in user. In this if condition we have checked if the current password from the form request if match with the user password in that case update the user password. If the current password does not match then return back with this error. Now this code is perfect nothing wrong here. I took a, this example because I think it is a perfect example to show you the closure based validation. So instead of checking the current password right here in this if condition we will check this in this validation request. Here we will create a closure based validation rule and check this condition right here. So here we are going to add a validation rule for current password. And in this array we are going to create a closure based rule. So function and in this function it is going to accept dollar attribute, dollar value and dollar fail. So here this attribute is the name of attribute in our case that is current password and the value is the value of this current password in the form request and this fail is a closure function. So let's die dump this and see. Now in the browser so in the current password I am going to pass 123 and new password confirm new password and update. Now you can see the attribute field is the current password that is printed right here and the value is 123 for the current password and next dollar fail is the closure function which has a parameter message. So now in this function what we are going to do first let's copy this condition and paste that here. This request current password is going to be this value. So let's replace this and for this user let's cut this from here and paste that here. Now here we will say use dollar user. So next if the current password value 
does not match with user password in that case we will call this fail closure function and here we will pass invalid current password now we can remove this condition from here and also we do not need this return back with error message is done now let's try this in the browser refresh so current password let's pass one two three and new password now update password here we get invalid current password because it was invalid now let's pass the correct password here we go now it is working it has updated it was very simple and easy one if you only need the functionality of a custom rule once throughout your application in that case you may use closure based rule but what happens if we want to use this again well in that case we have a couple of options and in the next video we will see how we can globally register rules by extending laravel's validator so thanks for watching if you like the video hit the like button share this video and see you in the next lesson mm -hmm.